Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. I started hunting with my brothers and my dad. Hunting for me is getting away from everything, just getting out into the country, to the quiet. I enjoy hunting with my son more than anything. Someday he'll have memories like I have of hunting with my dad. There's just no better feeling when a customer says, you know that gun you sold me last year worked perfect. That is to me what it's all about. I'm Leon Streifel and I'm one of the hunting experts at Shields. Great feeling, um, unexplainable basically, but uh, to get that first goal at home ice, um, no better feeling than that. After scoring his first career goal, Drake Kajula, the rest of the team looked to take down Alaska Anchorage after facing them just one week earlier. Well, for this time of year, I thought we played with, with good pace. Um, you know, we need to, to want to improve in every area. Yeah, but I, I thought we, you know what, I thought we. Uh, came out and, uh, and played a pretty solid game for, for 60 minutes. With four goals scored in the second period, much anticipated offense had almost seemed to come easy. Very yeah, it was, uh, I think it was a good first start for the team uh, and me as well. Um, obviously, it was frustrated last weekend, um, you know, not being able to play both games, and uh, you know, something I just had to had to deal with personally. And uh, I think everyone's moving forward, but uh, all in all, that was a good first game, and I've been played hard. So, on Saturday, however, a more determined Anchorage squad made goals come at a premium. I thought it took us uh, you know, 20, 20 to thirty minutes to work our way in, and. Even though it wasn't pretty, we did work our way in, and then uh, you know, through, you know they, they were tenacious. I thought throughout the 60 minutes, and obviously gave the lead away in the third period, uh, which put us in a pretty tough spot. But uh, you know, found a way to, to come back and salvage a point. After falling to a 3-2 deficit, Derek Forbert saved grace with only a minute six left. I don't know, I just 
got a rolling puck back at the point and just threw it on net and it was a wobbly puck. And to be honest, I think Niter might have tipped it, but I'm not sure. So let's we'll see who got that one, but it's pretty lucky. After a hard-fought weekend, the team starts the week off by going back to basics. We're playing four-on-four, four, uh, in zone, like competition. Yeah, they just shoot a, shoot a puck in, it's got to hit off the glass, and then that starts play. If you're muffing one in, it doesn't get to the glass, you got to re, uh, reshoot. Team that scores stays. And you rotate out. We keep track of how many wins you have uh, throughout the day, and that's the grand champion. But basically, four on four, puck goes out of the zone, the other team gets it. After that, play hard. Oh, we usually win. Wife's pretty dominant in this game. We're off to a slow start this time, though. We're winning right now. Yeah. By how much? Uh, uh, two? I think we got two. We just started, so. Fourth line block. Hot start. I think red team has the most wins. So they're probably the team to beat right now, but I don't know if they'll come out in the end. You get tired, of winning. You get tired of winning every now and then. What's the, uh, what's the key to your game? Give the puck to Dan. <laughs> Actually, keep the puck away from me. That's the key. <laughs> well, we're just going back to work. Today's a work day. I'm not too worried about BU right now. We're worried about our game. We're trying to, you know, early in a work week, trying to uh, build our game and improve the things that we're doing. We'll, we'll worry a little bit more about preparing for BU later this week. Well, you know, Tuesdays are typically work days. They're long days, they're, you know, they're grinding days. And, um, you know, they're at times they're tough to get a lot of flow to. Uh, but probably most importantly, I didn't think the execution was where it needed to be yesterday. You know, today a much different type of practice, uh, but uh, it's more, you know, a little bit more flow, a little bit more playmaking. Uh, but the execution was, uh, was, you know, more towards the top end where it should be. With an important work week ahead, much emphasis is put on the finer details of the game plan. However, the thought of this weekend's non-conference matchup against Boston University is not far from the minds of the guys. I expect a uh, good transition team, uh, lots of skill, good puck moving defenseman. Um, kind of more of a fast-paced game, more, probably on the long line, so like, kind of like Colorado College, something like that I would probably expect out of uh, BU. All right, boys, last drill here in the first half. Good edge, real good edge for practice. Derek is, you know, he's had a good start to the season. You know, he's done a lot of good things well. Um, retrieving pucks, moving pucks, playing sound defensively, and he's contributing to the offense here of scoring a couple goals. So very pleasantly uh, happy with his, his game overall. And like I said, uh, we look forward to working with him uh, going forward. Derek Forbert is off to a strong start this season with two goals in his last two games, doubling his career output. I think it's starting to go on for me. I, mean, I come in in the morning, shoot pucks, but I've always done that, so. I think it's finally starting to go on for me. Yeah, just watching him, obviously, uh, in practice and things like that, and his, his work ethic, and just uh, being able to kind of learn from him has, uh, has helped my game a lot as well, too. Yeah, I mean, he's he's awesome to play with. I mean, he's, uh, he likes to make plays out there, and he kind of thinks the game the same way I do, so it's just a lot of fun playing with him. <laughs> A highly touted draft prospect of the Los Angeles Kings, Derek is not only working toward college hockey immortality, but also a future career on the game's highest stage, the NHL.
Oh, he's just continuing to mature. Right now he's playing with a high level of confidence. He's doing things uh, quick and with authority, and uh, he's doing them on both ends of the ice. In our end of the own, you know, in our own end of the rink, he's moving pucks up ice, and he's getting up ice himself, supporting plays. And probably the biggest uh, development with his game this year is offensively, especially on the offensive blue line. He's doing things with poise and with confidence. Uh, and that's, you know, that's why you're seeing him get a lot of pucks to the net and have some success offensively because of it. Yeah, you know what, he's, he's, got, he's on the right track. And like I said, uh, you know, obviously it, it's a progress or it's a progression to get there. And, and this is one step of his, uh, his development as far as uh, college hockey. And like I said, he's, he's done a nice job over his three years here, two plus years, I should say. But again, like I said, to get to the NHL, that's a huge step. And uh, any time that he can, he can uh, refine his game and, and, and work on his game here, it, it's, a, it's a tribute to him. And he does that. He, every day he comes on the ice and works out in the morning and practices hard. So like I said, he's done a lot of good things for the, in, increasing his development to try to get to that level. Probably, you know, I'm going to have to go with Rob Blake, even though he's retired. Uh, he kind of plays that style that I can play, kind of puck moving guy, but also plays really good defensively. So, Rob Blake. All right, through these doors, correspondent here, Nick Matson. Uh, we're here today with goal-scoring phenom junior Derek Corbett. Some guys are complaining that you're going to the mall and buying the same clothes as them a week after they bought them. Uh, any truth to this? All right, there's some truth to this, but it's not what Nick Matson said. I actually went to the mall and purchased this pair of pants that are kind of edgy, and Nick, two days later, buys the same pair. True story. Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, back to you in the studio, Peter.